Name, please. State your full name. You already know my name. It's Sue. Susan Snell. And you were born in the town of? Chamberlain, Maine. I was born and raised there. When did you first meet Carrie White? <coughs> elementary school. We were in the same grade. I don't think I said a hundred words to her before this all began. Can you turn that down, please? I can't see. Tell us about the night of May 28th, about the occurrences that led up to the alleged event. Alleged event? Why do you keep asking the same thing over and over? You want to catch me in a lie? Is that it? We need the truth. I already told you what I know. How many times do we have to go through this? Until it makes sense. Until we understand. What you need to understand is that we were just kids. Kids. Trying to do our best. We were kids. Stop! No, who am I?
are you going to be all right? Now, come on. You've got to be kidding. Talk about clues. Oh. Okay, show's over. Clean up this mess and get to class. Can you believe it? She never knew. Chris. But Chris is right, Miss Gardner. So what's that mean? Oh, come on. It's just Carrie. Shame on you. <laughs> Do you believe her going off on me like that? Shame on you. Who cares what some hick from Alabama thinks? If you ask me, that bitch should get on a bus back to Dollywood. I mean, it's not like this was all my fault. I wasn't the only one doing it. Oh my god. Norma's already posted about it. It's hard to believe that any girl today can still be ignorant of the facts of life. That's just it. And when I tried to explain it to Carrie, she didn't seem to know what I was talking about. I mean, what are the odds? You'd have thought her mother would have told her. Hey! Remember that time in third grade when Carrie got down on her knees in the cafeteria? Praying without Bible. And a dress. <gasps> Remember? Praying Carrie. Probably short and hairy. All her friends are imaginary. As usual, Chris Harkinson was the ringleader. But even Sue Snell was doing it. I expect a stunt like this from Chris, but Sue. All the girls were doing it. Well, you'll have to deal with it, Lynn. Read them the riot act. And that light bulb, did you love it? Oh, how? Oh, her mother should have told her. My mother, my daughter. Shh, she'll hear you. Oh, you care too much what people think. Oh, my folks are away. Party at my house tonight? Go home and rest with my dear Carrie. We're all terribly sorry about this, Carrie. Skip June this week. Take study hall instead. You know what Norma called her? Scary White. <laughs> I just call her dumb bitch. Scary White!
<laughs> yeah, right, you ever see me in a tux? I look like a freaking penguin. Shut up, Tommy, you're gonna look great. <laughs> what? The girls eat that shit up. Anyway, I haven't been to you yet. No, tonight, I've sort of been waiting for the right moment. Dude, we have my daughter, prom's gonna be over. Right. Yo, motherfucker! Hey, 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 Oh, oh, come on, what you know? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it ain't plain Carrie. Uh, no. <laughs> Point of sticking her to the prom, huh? Her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave her alone, Billy. Hey, baby. I you are real hot and all that. Huh? Oh, you're such an asshole. Oh, come on, church girl. Dance with me. I'll make you see God. <laughs> Whoa! That's your pussy, princess! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at, huh? Bitch tricking! Hey, you alright? Hey, Tom, you coming or what? Yeah, leave the freak and let's go. Don't pay any attention to those guys.
and Eve was weak, and I was weak. I prayed this day would never come. I should have known. I should have known. Now I'm alone, and so afraid. The Lord has seen this power before. The flesh is weak. Please, take your time. Chris and I were best friends. Our mothers had grown up together. We were still incredibly close. We were the two most popular girls. Everyone just assumed we'd be friends forever. going to college together after all. But I thought Brown turned you down. Oh, yeah. Well, Daddy pulled a few strings and now I'm in. So, well, we can be roomies. Is that the heart factor? What? Party's here, bitches! <laughs> no offense, but you could have anyone. What do you see in him? Easy. He totally freaks out my dad. <laughs> Daddy's already offered to buy me a new car if I promise to stop seeing him. I am holding out for a beamer. <laughs> so, did you guys believe that stunt in the shower today? Oh, oh my yeah. God. What happened? Harry <laughs> White happened. <laughs> 17 years old, guys, and this stupid twat just stands there having her very first period. <laughs> Just a 
joke got out of hand. We kept on screaming till she hit the floor. Everybody was doing it. Hey, I was in there too. What came over me was something new. I did things I'd never done before. Sam's gone! And now I wish there's something I could do or say. I never, ever felt this way. Look, Sue, don't be so hard on yourself. You can tell me to keep my mouth shut, but wanna know what I'd advise? What? Apologize. Apologize? Yes. Tell me about the genius. Ew, Sue, I can tell you're feeling sad. Well, well, so we thought we're carrying you to their bed. This is why you got the blind dad. He's got the right idea. Blind dad.
You must forget what happened today. Yes, Mama. God will protect you. Yes, Mama. God will forgive us. Yes, Mama. It's getting late. touched me with the authenticity of its emotion. I'd like that person to recite his work for the rest of you. Tommy Ross. Oh, Tammy boy. Way to go. One more yeah. word out of you, Mr. Nolan, and you can repeat this class for the third time, which God knows is one more time than either of us can survive. Tommy. Do I have to? Yep. Stand, please. Read your poem. Dreamer in Disguise by Tommy Ross. Oh my god. <laughs> An eagle's just another bird until he can spread his wings. <gasps> hey, guys, come on. Freddy, that's not even a bird. <laughs> a river is just a sheet of ice till winter turns to spring. And though the clouds may block the sun, don't mean that it's left the sky. Just when you think you've seen it all, there's more than meets the eye. Like things I dream and things I feel, there's more to me than I. Shine in quiet ways 
I'm someone you don't recognize. I'm a diamond in the rough, a dreamer in disguise. And the eagle's just another bird until he can spread his wings. Thank you, Tommy. All right. Class? Comments? Well, don't all raise your hands at once. Come on, anyone. Anyone at all? You. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Carrie White, speak up, please, and share your thoughts with the rest of the class. Beautiful, Jess. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like, oh, beautiful for amber waves of gay. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Period, girl. Oh, okay. Just shut up, Billy. Go on, Carrie. How did the poem speak to you? I think it says that just because something or someone seems one way doesn't mean that it is that way. <laughs> uh, quiz next time, class. If I were you, I'd brush up on your Moby Dick. The book, not the movie. Now, get out of here. Sue, we've got a prom committee meeting. Oh, start without me. I'll be there in a minute. You got it. Hi, Carrie. That was really nice, what you said about Tommy's poem. I thought it was beautiful, too. Look, about yesterday, what happened, I don't know, things just, they got out of control, and I just wanted you to know. Haven't you had enough? Do you think you can just go on tricking me forever?
You know, ladies, life is all about choices, about making the right choice. And I just want you to know that yesterday, you made the wrong one and did a really shitty thing. So this is, this is how it's going to go down. You're each going to apologize to Carrie. Apologize. Her, apologize to her in front of everyone. Forget it, I won't. Well, that's up to you, Chris. That's up to all of you. And if we don't, do you really want to find out? This is all her fault. Let it go, Chris. Why are you taking her side? Because this isn't about sides. What did Carrie ever do to you or to any of us? Well, well. Are you getting to be the Joan of Arc around here? Oh, wait, remind me. Who was that in there pitching with the rest of us? I was, but I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry? Yeah. Oh, a little whisper. Is sorry. Oh, hey, everybody. Susie is sorry. Susie is sorry. Yes. Susie is sorry. Chris, I'll have it. Thank you. Girls, you all have something to say to Carrie? Who's going first? Carrie? I'm sorry. Frida? Sorry, Carrie? Your turn, Norma. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Helen. Sorry. Okay, Chris. Let's hear it. We're waiting, Chris. It's okay. Let yourself go. You 
someone had the chance, maybe he's waiting just for you. You never know, this could be paradise, maybe your dreams just might come true.
objects by force of the mind. Scientifically unproven, the phenomenon is thought to be electrochemical in nature. Numerous incidents have been reported of individuals possessing such an ability. They're termed anomalies. Anomalies. Sometimes I dream in colors, sometimes 
the night of May 28th. What can you tell us about the events leading up to the prom? It was meant to be a celebration. The biggest night of our lives. It was supposed to be the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be the night we'll never forget. You ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be a night we'll never forget. Don't buy 
sounds a little crazy. Have you lost your freaking mind? Yeah, if you were that desperate, why didn't you just ask me? <laughs> what? Joking? You ain't seen nothing yet. It's gonna be a night we'll never forget.
Come with me. What are you doing? Just come on.
I'll say you're sick. I'll say you've changed your mind. Don't say nothing. Mama, you'll stay here and not say a word. I never should have had you. I should never have let you live. And why did you, Mama? Why did you? Gary? You must stay here! For straight is the gate and narrow is the path to salvation. The Lord has said there will be a day of judgment. And on that day, an angel with his sword and his arm. And there will be a day of reckoning, Carrie! It has been foretold. The sun will turn to darkness and the moon to crimson red. And there will be a rain of blood.
So, nervous. <laughs> Me too. Whoa. You know, we can go somewhere else and grab something. No, to I want to do this. All right, then. Let's do it.
can stop in at the Blazer for a little while. I've never been there. They have the best fries. I'd love to. Well then, it's decided. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. It is time to vote for your prom king and queen. This contest insults women. This contest insults men. Bingo, please. When you receive your ballots, vote for your favorite couple. Here you go, kids. Tommy, we're on here. Yeah, I see. Do you want it to climb? Do you? No way. If you win, all you do is go up there for the school song. They take your picture for the class yearbook, so years from now, your kids can see what idiots you are. Well, who do we vote for? They're more your crowd than mine. I don't really have a crowd. Let's vote for ourselves, then. To hell with false modesty. To hell with it! <laughs> Time for that dance. Tommy. No, come on. Take my hand. No, 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 don't look down. Look right here. Forget about everything else. An eagle's just another bird until he can spread his wings. A river's just a sheet of ice till winter turns to spring. When you think you've seen it all, there's more that meets the eye. And things I dream, and things I feel, there's more to me than I reveal. And cause I shine in quiet ways, I'm someone you don't recognize. I'm a diamond in the rough. I couldn't stay home. I had to go to prom to see how it all worked out. I needed to see. Carrie looks so at ease and so happy. Well, when you get a load of them, couldn't you just barf? I can't believe Chris is missing this. Trust me, doll. She isn't missing a thing.
this year's king and queen of the prom. Tommy Ross and Carrie White. Tears. 
Name, please. 